Hello, my name is Alex Isles and welcome to Burness on Solway. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at the equipment a Roman soldier wore. Now, when you think of a Roman soldier, I'm going to guess that you probably think of the Roman legionary. The legions were the mainstay of the Roman armies, the core element. And these were made of citizen soldiers who signed up for 25 years service. So at the end of their 25 years service, they would receive a plot of land, a handout, a payout of money. And then from there, they would go on to establish colonies throughout the Roman Empire. Alongside them as well, there was also another type of soldier in the Roman Empire. These men were the auxiliaries, and the auxiliaries served in the Roman army to gain citizenship. They were recruited from all the peoples that the Romans had conquered, and when they were conquered, they then joined the army for the hope of gaining citizenship at the end of their service. So right now, I'm dressed as an auxiliary soldier, which would have been common in the second century AD after Hadrian's Wall is built. And I'm gonna talk you through the various parts of my kit I'm wearing. So to start off with, on the top of my head, I am wearing a helmet called a Gallic helmet. The particular type of helmet I'm wearing here would have already been quite old by the time Hadrian's Wall was built, but Kit was kept in service for a long time, and so this helmet may not have been uncommon amongst the Roman soldiers stationed up here on the frontier. Following on from that, moving down, you can see I'm wearing a yellow cloak. Cloaks are like coats today. They were to keep you warm, and when you were out on maneuvers, they would also do your, double up as your blanket. And yellow was quite a common color for Roman soldiers to have as their cloak. It's fastened by a brooch, and brooches were your fashion statement for how you would style your kit. The one I'm wearing here is a dragon-esque brooch, and these brooches came from the British Isles. The Romans absolutely loved the fashion, and they shared it throughout the rest of the empire, and they often looked like dragons in an S shape, with a head at the top and a head at the bottom. Following on from that, underneath there, I'm wearing mail armor, or chain mail as it's more commonly known. These mail shirts are made of thousands of links of metal, and these are then fastened together to make a very durable, flexible shirt that would protect you against slashing attacks and some heavy attacks against your body. And this mail shirt here has a very, very small links. They're only six millimeters across in diameter, which shows you the skill of the Roman craftsmen who are making them. Following on from that, you can also see in my weapons, I've got a sword here called a Spartha, and these were slashing swords that were favored by cavalrymen, but we think as well on Hadrian's Wall, they would be pretty interchangeable with the gladius, which was also known as the stabbing weapon the Romans used. This one here is based very similarly on a find from Vindolanda that was discovered in 2007. So that is my slashing sword right here on my side. My other weapon, which would be my main weapon as a soldier, is my Hasta, or spear. And this weapon is based on a find from Hausted's Roman fort on Hadrian's Wall. This one is six foot long and would enable a soldier to fight with his spear, keeping his enemies at bay. And this was the main weapon for the auxiliary soldier, with the sword being a secondary weapon, and then a third weapon called a Pugio, or a combat knife, that I keep on my left hand side. I defend myself as well alongside my male armor with my shield, which is called a clippus. It's an oval shaped shield that's commonly seen for auxiliary soldiers and is depicted on Trajan's column in Rome. I've got a shield cover on it to protect it while I'm marching through the terrain so it doesn't get damaged by rain or mud or things like that. And it's got the name of the unit that I'm a part of, which was the Roman unit stationed in Newcastle upon Tyne. Moving down to the lower part of my body, I'm wearing trousers. And the trousers were common amongst the northern uh, peoples of Europe. So for instance, the Gauls, the Britons, and the Germans, because of the fact that the weather was colder than it was in the Mediterranean. The Romans found this quite funny because in the Mediterranean, only women would wear trousers, whereas up in the northern frontiers, they were needed to keep you warm. So that would have caused quite a bit of a culture shock. The Romans also mentioned that the Britons wore baggy trousers, so mine are a baggier type of trousers there. At the bottom of my trousers, I'm also wearing leg wraps. These are copied off a find from Denmark called the Thosberg leg wraps, and these they keep the bottom of your legs protected against mud and things like that, and also keep you warm and protect you against um, things in the undergrowth like bracken, fawns, and things like that too. On my upper body, I'm also wearing a long-sleeved tunic, to, again, for the, nor the cold northern European climates that the Roman soldiers have had to deal with. 
On my feet, the shoes I'm wearing are called um, uh, Vindolanda fell boots, and they're commonly found at Vindolanda Roman Fort up in the northeast of England. And these Vindolanda boots would have been uh, the kind of enclosed boot that would keep the soldier's feet nice and warm, and alongside nice and warm, but also dry in the cold, damp conditions that are common throughout northern Europe. I hope this has been a good introduction to the Roman equipment that I'm wearing and that you've enjoyed it today. As always, I look forward to speaking to you soon in another episode.